So in the previous challenge, what we did was we created a SVG rectangular element for each item in this array of numbers. And the problem was because SVG sets the default X and Y coordinates to be 0, 0, all these rectangular bars are stacked on top of each other, so it looks like there's only one bar. Um, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and separate it out so it looks more like an actual bar chart. So in a bar chart, the Y coordinate of all the bars are the same because the, high, the, the vertical position doesn't change. But the bar should be spread across horizontally, which means that we need to change the X coordinate. Now, because these bars are 25 in width, as we specified in the previous challenge, and also we can see here the width is set to 25, we need them to be at least 25 units or pixels apart for them to be shown separately. So in this example, we're going to go with 30. Now, what we can actually do to set the X coordinate differently or to alter the position of the X coordinate is we can make use of the index in the array. And the callback function that you can provide to the attribute method can take in a second argument, which is the index. And we can use this value to set the X coordinate. So what they've done here is they've selected the rectangle right here and they've set the X attribute and they've given it a callback function that takes in the actual data item and the index of that item. So what it wants us to do is we want the X coordinate to be the index times 30. So the first position, the first bar would be at 0 times 30. The next bar would be at 1 times 30, which is 30x. The next bar would be at 2 times 30, which is 60x. So we'd have a nice separation of the bars here. So we've already got this function here to return the x attribute with a function that takes in the data item and the index. So to return 30 times index, we can just simply return oops, return 30 times i here. And that would set the x coordinate to 30 times the index. And now we've got this nice separated bar chart. And that's all we need for this challenge, so I'm just going to submit it now. Perfect.